I'd like to discuss a technique for the diagnosis and treatment of early postoperative endophthalmitis that is an alternative to observation or antibiotic injection with or without vitrectomy. With self-sealing incisions, the patient can be taken immediately to the operating room and without making any additional incision, the incision is reopened and the anterior tap can be done for diagnosis and a posterior curvilinear capsulorexis obtained for a vitreous tap and diagnosis and injection of antibiotic. This is a barbed 27 gauge disposable needle to start the posterior capsulorexis with viscoelastic in the chamber and under the implant and then a capsulorexis forceps is used to uh, carry out the posterior capsulorexis using the same vector forces with regrasping close to the advancing tear to create a small central posterior capsulorexis. As you can see, this can be done under the implant by putting the viscoelastic under and just lifting the implant. A coaxial vitrector is used taking the first aspirate for, for diagnosis, for culture, and just leaving the port at the posterior capsulorexis and taking all the vitreous that comes to the port. This will be a shallow core anterior vitrectomy, unless a posterior vitreous detachment is pre-existing, in which case it will be a more generous vitrectomy. The antibiotic is injected by slipping under the implant and injecting through the posterior capsulorexis into the vitreous cavity, in this case one milligram of vancomycin. The anterior chamber is reconstituted. The wounds are self-sealing. I recommend this technique for your consideration in the early treatment of postoperative endophthalmitis following cataract surgery.